There's a sea of business tools out there for entrepreneurs and you're looking for some recommendations on what's gonna help you save more time in your business as well as operate things for smooth sailing. Hello, it's Arit here from Esatino Media helping you create profitable content. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you eight business tools for entrepreneurs that have really helped us grow our business in the past years and some of these tools even in the past decade. This video is split into two parts. So the first half, I'm gonna be talking about the first four tools for productivity to help you with automating things in your business and organizing your time. And the latter four tools that I'm gonna be talking about is all about content creation. For every single tool that I'll mention, you'll see links in the description along with some helpful videos for beginners to help you really focus in on getting started with that tool. So make sure you check out the description below. All right, so the first tool I'm gonna to be talking about is Airtable. Airtable is kind of like a an Excel spreadsheet combined with a cloud folder and a CRM, something that organizes your data all in one. It's basically like similar to an Excel spreadsheet, but it really helps you visualize things a lot better and you can upload files directly into Airtable. So the reason why we started using Airtable is um, I first used it like for a personal thing to just track projects, track client projects. I would list out all of my, my client work that I was doing and what each project was and the progress status of each and the dates on when I'm starting it and when I plan to finish it, a deadline. And I'd have a separate column for assets. So when I receive an email from a client saying, hey, can you please design this social media graphic for me or this flyer for me, they'll send me certain assets uh, like their content or images, and I would just pull that from the email and dump it directly into Airtable so that I know when I come when it comes time for me to work on that, I'll take a look and I have everything all organized in one place rather than spending time searching for that email and downloading the files uh, at a later time. So in addition to the content design work and the YouTube coaching services that we provide, we also help some clients get their course started, created, and implemented. This Airtable tool really allows you to work with, kind of using it as a project management tool and work with the clients so that they can see all of the tasks that they need to do at a given, at a glance, and they're seeing as well what it is that you're working on because it's a team collaboration. And this is the great thing about Airtable is that anytime you're collaborating with someone on a project, it's such a great tool to organize what everybody is working on. And you can also see, you know, progress where, whether tasks are done, whether they're um, in, you know, in revision or you're waiting on information from someone. If one of these things resonates with you, then head down to the description and find that video associated with it because I have Airtable tutorials on each one of these things and how to set up your first spreadsheet base so that you could start using it right away. All right, tool number two is OnceHub. So OnceHub is a scheduling tool like Calendly, but quite more robust. It basically allows people to schedule right into your calendar when they're booking calls with you. So if you are a freelancer who does discovery calls quite often with clients, if you are a coach who does coaching sessions, you know, we started off using Calendly and another tool called You Can Book Me, but OnceHub is just so much more professional to use and you have more control over your booking pages and they give your clients more options if for example you want them to book uh, different types of events or different sessions from one single calendar. You can also create payment pages where people can book right in and give you payment at the same time. So on our website, and this is part of the, the beauty of automation of using a tool like this, on our website we have our YouTube coaching. So when someone books through that, they pay right away for four coaching sessions at the time of filming this video. And they go directly, once they pay, they go to a booking calendar to book their first session. And we even have an intake form in there asking them some questions so that 
that information is sent to us and we have that ready to go so that we can prepare for the first session. And they automatically get sent a Zoom link to join for the first call. So it really streamlines things if you're someone who's doing coaching or discovery calls or doing consults. And I talk about how you can do this automation in one of the tutorial videos linked in the description. Okay, tool number three, it goes hand in hand with Once Hub is Zoom. So Zoom is a video conferencing tool that I'm sure you're aware of. A lot of people know about it, but it's definitely something worth mentioning here because it allows you to automate just getting on a call with someone, uh, especially for sales calls, for client calls. And we started, we used Skype in the beginning, but we switched over to Zoom just because it allows you to integrate with so many other tools and softwares as opposed to Skype. So having Once Hub, we can easily integrate this calendar tool with Zoom. Like I said, when someone books in the, the event, the, the Zoom meeting is immediately created and then they get sent that Zoom link to join all in one booking. I have a video on how to schedule your first meeting as well, so you can check that out. Next, we'll talk about Trello. So Trello is another project management tool. It's a Kanban style tool. It just basically means it, it, ha it uses uh, boards to visually show you how to organize your workflows and your tasks. So we use Trello religiously every single week because it allows us to plan our week ahead. I do use, you know, a traditional journal to keep track of my day-to-day -day tasks, but I really found that I needed something to organize my entire week ahead and to see it all in a glance visually. Trello came into play and we've been using Trello for years with this weekly board. Basically, we set up a board that has you know monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday all of the entire week all set up across the top and then within each of those they call them lists so monday is a list tuesday is a list within each of those lists you can create separate cards for tasks so when that day rolls around we have our tasks already lined up in trello and then we just basically drag the cards and move it over to another list called nailed it which just basically means done and it also just makes planning your week a lot more fun because of all the visuals that you could do, like you could create and set photos to your tasks. And it just makes it a lot more fun and engaging to plan your week and to get excited about your tasks rather than looking at it and feeling overwhelmed. Okay, so let's get into some of the content creation tools. So. Photoshop is a huge one that we use in our business. I use it mainly as a design tool for social graphics. So I do a lot of content design for our clients, whether it's YouTube thumbnails, banners, social media graphics, podcast graphics. And I was initially way back in the day, I mean, I've been using Photoshop for a long time now, but way back in the day, I used to use those free tools like Canva and there was another one called PicMonkey, which I'm not sure if it's still around, but I found a lot of limitations to it. So I'm someone who, you know, I get these creative ideas and I want to actually put them into action. So I found that I needed more control out of those tools and Photoshop allows me to easily do things like removing backgrounds very cleanly and creating some really cool graphic effects with the layers. So if you're someone who's really not that into doing design stuff yourself and you want to just get those social graphics out there, then you can stick with Canva, a free tool like Canva or PicMonkey. But if you are quite enjoying designing graphics and you wanna get into it a little bit more and do some different things, just level up your skills, then I highly recommend looking at Photoshop as a design tool. Next, of course, one of the best tools for entrepreneurs and specifically for educators, instructors, people who do tutorials, Camtasia. Camtasia is the video editing software that we use religiously on this channel. Jewel is someone who's, you know, edited like thousands, I will say thousands of videos with the Camtasia editing software. She started out with like movie maker or some you know some other editing tool it was like the basic editing tool that came with her computer way back in the day and then she leveled up to Camtasia so Camtasia is a super user-friendly video editing software it's in a space where it's not it's not super daunting and complex to use like some of the other 
uh, editing softwares out there like Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere Pro. So it's not as complex as those and it's not, you know, super as simple as the movie maker stuff, iMovie. Uh, it sits right in the middle. So you can do a lot with Camtasia. And also check out Jewel's course. So she has like a nine plus hour course that takes you step by step through getting to uh, be more comfortable with the Camtasia software and even showing you how to edit a video from start to finish. Okay, next is Evernote. Evernote is my digital brain. It's a note taking software that really allows you to organize all of your ideas, your thoughts, everything in one place. So previously I would always use that notepad app in on most computers and you know, I would pull up the notepad and those notes would get lost. It was just a whole dump of notes, different kinds of notes about different topics all in one place, and it would get pretty messy. So with Evernote, I started using this like back in 2010. I still use it today to organize all of my ideas for, for new YouTube videos that I'm gonna film. So I actually sit with Evernote and I plan out my YouTube videos within the note. So I'll do like an outline and then I can create a check mark between, or a check box for each of those things. So I know that after I've finished filming it, I can check that off and mark it as done. I also use it as a tool with our YouTube coaching clients. So after each session in our YouTube coaching, I give homework to our clients to make sure that they get these next steps done and they can progress before booking the next session. So Evernote is a place where I'll outline the entire, you know, all of the homework for my clients and I send them a link to that note so that they have that for their reference and they can follow along. And there's also a booking link there for them to book the next session. So you can really start to automate these things as well. You can also use it as a place to create templates and to just take notes of certain processes and things that you do over and over again. Like if you send the same emails out often, um, maybe it's like that first email that goes out after you've had a discovery call with someone. Create those as templates in, Over in Evernote and have it in one place so that you could easily go there. It's organized. You can copy it and paste it. It'll just help you save so much time. And another thing that I like about Evernote is you can organize your projects into different notebooks. So I have a separate notebook for Esatino, our business. I have a separate one for my music, personal. So you can really start to organize all of these ideas that are coming in from different places rather than making notes in so many different areas and then not being able to find them later. And the eighth best tool for entrepreneurs, especially for YouTubers, is TubeBuddy. So this is a tool that has to be on this list because it's a YouTube channel management tool. If you know YouTube, there are just so many things to do as a YouTube channel owner. TubeBuddy really helps simplify those things, helps you automate certain processes. We personally use it for the keyword tool. So TubeBuddy has a keyword tool that allows you to easily research keywords and phrases that you can rank for. And before TubeBuddy, we were just, you know, typing in certain phrases into the YouTube search or back in the day, even back further, using the Google Keyword Planner. But if you have used any of those things, it's just, it's more shooting in the dark and the information is harder to read, whereas TubeBuddy allows you to visually see at a glance, out of a score of 100, whether or not you can rank for that. So it makes it super simple. We use it all the time also to come up with new video ideas because you can see what other people are searching for in that topic or in that area, whatever you're typing out into the keyword tool. We're so passionate about TubeBuddy that we decided to create a full course on it, helping other YouTubers rank their videos higher in the search because this tool has really allowed us to rank our videos on the first page of not just YouTube, but also Google. And if you're interested in that, you can check that course out in the description below. So those are our eight best tools for entrepreneurs. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up, hit the like button so that YouTube knows it's good content. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.